Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Step 24. Wouldn't it be nice if we got it done today? Once again, I'm going to say something that I said lots. I don't see any reason why we can't. <laughs> and then stuff happens and stuff goes wrong. Okay. Now, uh, the sunrise this morning, uh, when I glanced into the monitor oh, about an hour ago, it was uh, uneventful. Uh, I'll probably put it at the end of today's episode. So there won't be anything over my head here. Uh, I did get out on the e-bike yesterday. Yes, I did. And uh, I... Uh, I took a uh, photo with my, uh, you, you, or, or rather what I did was, I used the image from the GoPro to try and show one of the signs, but it, it kind of worked, but not really sharp. But this morning I was messing around with my, uh, my other gloves, not the heated ones, but the, what I call the gauntlet gloves. Remember I bought them last, last fall for when the weather got colder? Uh, now, the weather is supposed to be better today, so I'm thinking I may not need the heated gloves. Uh, that's going to be the that's going to be the plan for later this afternoon. We'll just see what happens. I think if I remember right, it's supposed to go up to uh, around eight degrees today. Well, that'd be nice. That, I wouldn't need heated gloves for that. At least I wouldn't need to worry about freezing my fingers. That was my big fear that I would actually freeze my fingers. It's, Plus the fact that for starting, it would sometimes get a little bit painful. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that when I uh, when I go on my bike ride. Uh, now, uh, speaking of bikes, uh, I was reading a, a comment from our friend uh, New York Jason, and he was suggesting I need a a, a louder bicycle bell. So. Uh, Last night I went on Amazon and I ordered one. Just just an ordinary, you, you know, when you think of a bicycle bell, that's what it's going to sound like. When it comes, we'll, I'll show it to you. Uh, now, uh, UK Dave, I am not going to install what you suggested. And in case you're wondering what UK Dave uh, suggested, it sounds like this. <laughs> Nope, we are not going to have that on my bike. I would be barred from the bike path for life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. You know those uh, those ship horns? Uh, I I believe that they are very heavy. It it seems to me. Well, they call, I guess they call them whistles. Uh, but they are they're extremely heavy. It. Probably one, one of those probably weighs more than me and the e-bike altogether. <laughs> uh, no, we're not going to be doing that, Dave, but thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's uh, recompose here. And we sort of, uh, I, I sort of thought maybe we might have a rollback today, but we don't. So we're going to try and put these parts on this piece of uh, bulkhead. I think it's more of a partition than a than anything. It's not I don't think it would be what you would call a bulkhead. It's sort of a I believe it's kind of like a divider for the sonar room guys. Uh, yeah. That must have been something. You'd be sitting in the submarine at about three, four hundred feet under the water and you you'd be in this tiny little room and you'd have your sonar earphones on and you'd be listening for the for, for a ship coming and I think I hear something uh, yeah. hey captain uh, uh, propellers propeller screws I can hear screws coming oh, what did they used to say I forget I, I did watch that that movie uh, the boat dust boat or however you say it um, but it was a long long time ago soon after it first came out I have people that constantly are saying, you should watch this movie, watch this movie. I did, I did actually see it. Uh, yeah. In fact, I showed it in my home 
on a 16 millimeter movie projector. Way, way back when it first came out, uh, the, 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 uh, the uh, I guess you'd call it movie distributors, as well as making the movies uh, for theaters that have had 35 millimeter projectors, uh, or, or even the 70 millimeter, uh, they would also make it in just 16 millimeter for the little tiny theaters that might be in a little tiny town. And I, I happen to know the guy that was the distributor for all the theaters in Manitoba. And he got me that movie. And, uh, and then, uh, anyway, I showed it, I showed it at my home. We had some friends over and it, it was a good movie. <laughs> no, no question about it. Oh man, that was a long time ago. I wish I could, uh, turn the clock back to that time. Uh, yeah, uh, in fact, I'd be happy if I could turn the clock back to yesterday. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, stop with the silliness here. Uh, let's recompose and, uh, see what we can do. We are right here in step 24. And, uh... I think it's probably safe to take this off now. And if I'm smart, I will put this in a nice safe place. We will be using it shortly here. Um, yeah, we'll be using it when we get over here. So let's put that in a nice safe place. Okay, now get everything right to the world here. I find that if I have the pieces in the same orientation as the drawings in the manual, there's less chance of uh, gluing something wrong. Now, all right, this one here has to go into this slot right here like this. And that would be this one I guess. So that means that the delicate stuff that we got going on here is going to be on the other side. And I'm going to have to remember that it's there when I'm handling this. We'll probably be using uh, one of Tennessee Jim's um, mini squares here to hold this. Why does this seem to have a little notch here? Oh, I see. That goes ab above it. All right. Let's 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 just put this down here for a minute and maybe recompose ourselves here. I think that I'm just going to... I'm not going to do any scraping or anything like that. I'm going to just use the... Let the uh, Tamiya Extra Thin soften the paint that's in there. I, I might take and put some uh, extra thin along this edge here, uh, or or maybe maybe the thing to do is get it basically the way we want it, and then let the extra thin wick its way along the bottom edge. I'll, I'll, I guess we'll know uh, in a, in a few minutes because it will be will have been done. Um, okay, let's let's just recompose here just a little bit, moving just a little bit closer. Okay, that shouldn't take very long to dissolve the paint. And, uh... How can I hold on to this here? Something like this. Yeah, that might work. I'm going to get that, get, get myself down where we can both see it. Okay, I believe that's going in, well, I thought it was going into the crack. You know, I might have to recompose here. I can't quite, I 
can't quite see that crack at this angle. I've got to be able to lift this up somehow, like, like this maybe. But then when I let go of it, um, I'm going to have to uh, push stop here. Remember about five years ago now, I guess it was, that we made this armrest for straddling the hull of the Bismarck so that I could easily place little parts down on the deck with, uh, <laughs> you know, without accidentally breaking stuff off. Well, it, it's coming in handy again. Now I can see it, and you can see it. Okay, I think we're going to have to uh, rehydrate here. see that little tab more or less it's still not not right maybe if I could grab hold of it like this Is that in place there? I think it is. Yeah, it's in place, I'm pretty sure. No, it's probably not going to want to stay there by itself. Almost. Okay, <clears throat> it's kind of leaning back. You can't see it. Well, I guess I could show it to you. It's sort of leaning back on the... Uh, one of the other pieces there. Uh, but I want to get it square, so I'm going to get Tennessee Jim's mini square here and just put it right there. Just bear with me. Okay. That's just going to stay balanced like that. not. Alright, maybe if I take one of uh, Gabe's swabs here. Okay, now it's going to glue square. So, well, I think what I'll do now is I'm, I might have to do this kind of off camera is just let it wick its way along here. Yeah. Okay, let's leave that for a few minutes. I saw you, Missy. I saw you. I saw you. Yeah. How are you doing this morning? Hey? You chasing any coyotes this morning? Hmm? She wasn't sure if she wanted that one. She was going crazy at the back door last night, barking at a raven. And I think a raven found one of her old dog bones when it was eating it in a tree. Oh, and she just was going crazy, pounding against the door. Did you see yesterday's video where the, where the raven got the... Uh, <laughs> and I think the raven got another one. Oh, look at that. She doesn't like that one. Well, now, isn't that funny? Okay, I'm going to get a different flavor. <laughs> oh, oh, a different flavor? Okay. Yeah, here. I got a, I got a different flavor here. Missy, come. Missy! Missy, go. 
Okay, see if she likes that one. Maybe she just doesn't like the other ones. She's not hungry at this morning. Oh, that's what it is. Fussy. Fussy. Over full. <laughs> Look at that. That's the first time she's done that, at least in my yard. <laughs> okay. Look at the snow going. Isn't that nice? It is. A little bit sure. I'm going to have to check out the uh, bird feeder today. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get up today on the bike. Uh, do that full ride behind the school and make sure I time it and everything. I'm feeling a little under-exercised. <laughs> anyway, I got... Who's it at 9.30 on the phone? So we better go with this. Well, that is really something. They're just laying there on the cement. Okay, well. I guess some days you just don't feel like a dog cookie. Okay, well over two hours has passed here now. And this is going to... Oh, the kind of glued it, glued it the corner in in there. I wonder, did we did we mark it? Let me turn so I can see it. Oh, now I'm gonna have to repaint. I guess what must have happened is the uh, the glue wicked its way underneath the edge there. Well, that's the way it goes. That's what makes this hobby so much fun, right, guys? Okay, let's, uh, being as that I'm probably going to muss something else up. Yeah, this is, this is actually quite strong. Uh, we'll, we'll wait for our touch-up, which should be really easy to do, after we get this piece glued in place. And it has to go... Okay, there's a bit of a, you know, sort of like a little uh, li lip right there. We want to make sure that we don't do that wrong and that little lip has to come I'm trying to hold it so you can see it maybe I should be putting I was going to say put on the macro lens but that might be kind of overkill actually that, that should go pretty good and then once again I can use uh, Tennessee Jim's square to hold it up that should work so let's try this here oops wrong way Something like that should work. Uh, it's going to want to fall in though, isn't it? Okay, um, unless I was to have the square the other... No, I like to have the square on the outside because it, then, then I'd run to mess around with shims. <clears throat> so uh, I'll think of something, don't worry. Okay, so we want to make sure that that little groove is in the right place here. Now I realize that uh, you can't see what I'm doing because I got it facing away from you. But the idea is maybe what I'll do is we'll take this the square here. This is where I need uh, five hands. Put it like this. Yeah, that, that seems to be locking in place. Okay, now it'll, it'll, it doesn't want to pull back square, so... Let's see if this is going to work. I'm pretty sure it will. Put it on there like that. Alright. Just want to make sure that that's... in as good as it can go here. Whoa. Pulls it back too far. Okay, now it should it should be basically perfectly square right now. Um, does it have to go? No, it's it's locked in place there. Yeah. Okay. Now if we put 
some uh, extra thin along the crack here. Maybe a little less because I don't want it to glue itself to the... Okay, we got it there. And... We got it there. Okay. Let's just leave that for a little bit. I think it's going to be okay. Okay, about another hour has passed here. And it is absolutely gorgeous outside right now. This is the kind of weather we've been waiting for. My neighbor came back on his bike, saw him, saw him come whizzing into his driveway. And, uh, yeah. Okay, it didn't glue itself down. I'm thinking of uh, cutting today's episode off and uh, get outside and take advantage of this nice weather. And I'll be uh, trying to maybe uh, photograph some of those signs that, that I missed on my last trip when I went on the south, right, south route uh, down to uh, Talbot Avenue, for those of you who have been following these bike rides. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can wear my lighter gloves and uh, maybe I'll be able to uh, manipulate the camera with them and I won't need to take my gloves off and I can actually snap pictures. Uh, this is going to look pretty good. Um, that the next, the next step actually is, uh, 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 dropping the, 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 this piece down on, onto the uh, deck, but I, I'm uh, kind of anxious to get out. Um, so I'm, I'm going to cut her off here. What's the temperature? Uh, it might be kind of hard to read, but it says 10.8, and that's plus 10.8, not minus. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to cut her off, even though I, you know, I'm torn between working on this because I, I enjoy doing this uh, but I also enjoy getting out and I've been waiting all winter for uh, for the uh, sunshine and uh, I'm lost for words here thanks for watching everybody and all being well we're gonna see you tomorrow